Hello everyone, Good Returning here doing yet another video. This time, I'll be doing a simple Roblox GFX tutorial. Without Roblox Studio or Blender or any third party software that is required to be installed. Do you know that these tutorials vary by people's preference? I'm doing my own simplified method of which you can follow. Without further delays, we proceed to the tutorial. First, join this Roblox game to post your character to a green screen. The link is in the description as always. You can post your character by your preference. After you're done, take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot using a snipping tool. Surely by now you know how to use a snipping tool. On your Windows search bar, search snipping tool. Save this screenshot to wherever you like, and once that is over with, you can leave the game. We are doing our second step now. And that is to visit the website Pixlr. Click Advanced Editing. We will be removing the green screen from our screenshot. Just select the one tool and click around the green screen spot. It will automatically detect the green screen. As you can see in the video here. Once it is detected, Click the delete button on your keyboard and there we have it, the green screen is completely removed from our screenshot. If you feel that you are done, we can now save this edit. Just click file on the top left where my mouse cursor is and then saved. As easy as that. Third step, we still will be in the Pixlr website. However, this time we will not open an image, but create a new project. A project of 512 x 512 pixels. The reason why it is 512 x 512 is that this is the recommended size for Roblox JFX. Create that project and you will see this. It is empty, but it will not be empty for long. Now, click that plus button and add your character. Adjust it accordingly if you like. You can move it to the right, or you can move it to the left. But most importantly, whatever you think is best for you. Once that is over with, open a new tab and search GFX Backgrounds. You have a lot of options here, choose whichever you like. As for me, I chose the color purple. I like the color purple. Downloading the image, switching to the picture tab again, adding the background using the plus icon. And there we have it. Editing the background using a liquify tool so it looks fluid and captivating to see. Before I continue with the tutorial, can you please like and subscribe to reach the goal of 10 likes? I've been working on this video for 2 weeks now and I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Anyways, back to the video. There are several possibilities to edit your Roblox GFX. After you are done with the liquify tool, you can as well edit using the filter button at the top. 
as well as the effects library, do know that you have to select one layer from the layers list for something to be edited. You can add an inner glow or an outer glow or a shadow to your Roblox GFX. You can also add a text for you to write on. You can change the font size, you can change the format, but most importantly you may want to change the font. There are many to choose from on Pixlr. Choose whatever you like. By now it is hard for me to explain what is happening in the video. But it is a timeless of me slowly editing it in a fast speed. You can pause the video whenever you want to see how I did it. It is recommended for you to practice Roblox GFX. You can make something better by each Roblox GFX that you have created. It takes time and practice as well as learning the tools on Pixlr. This is also not limited in Pixlr, you can always use Photoshop. We did it! We successfully made a Roblox GFX. Now, it's time to save it. Do what you did when you are trying to save a file on Pixlr. The result? It is decent. It is a decent Roblox GFX without any third-party softwares, without Blender, or without Roblox Studio. As for the moment, farewell everyone and have a great day.